Hello and welcome back to Pop and Sodas. I'm Derek and today we are trying out Iron Brew. Iron Brew is a Scottish drink and is sometimes referred to as Scotland's other national drink. Of course referring to whiskey as the true national drink of Scotland. Now Iron Brew was created in 1901 by A.G. Barr of Glasgow. However, there are some references in marketing that suggest it may have been around a few years prior to that. But ever since the drink came out officially in 1901, it has been the number one selling soft drink in Scotland. Now, the concept of an iron brew, spelled actually like the word iron and brew like brewery, that actually dates back to 1889 in New York. Moss and Waldstein Chemicals actually created the first original Iron Brew drink. Now, because Iron Brew became a kind of drink, A.G. Barr decided to change things up a bit and come up with the unique spelling for Iron Brew here, I-R-N-B-R-U, in 1946. The formula stayed the same all the way up into 2018 when they changed some things to avoid a sugar tax. The following year, they introduced Iron Brew 1901 with that original formula, and it was meant to be kind of a seasonal, promotional version of the drink. However, just this past year, in 2021, it became a new permanent version of Iron Brew. So there you have it. Iron Brew is a unique style of drink. We're going to go ahead and try this Iron Brew from Scotland. Let's go ahead and pop this soda. Now, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but I definitely was not expecting it to look like this. This actually looks a lot like Inca Cola, if you remember us doing Inca Cola way, way back when. It doesn't have much of a smell to it. It's hardly any aroma at all. I'm not really getting anything, so that's kind of interesting. Well, all right, let's go ahead and give this a try. AG Bar of Glasgow's Iron Brew. Cheers. Man, this is a weird one. So, it's not overly sweet. It's kind of dry, actually. It's a very dry mouthfeel to it. There's a little bit of that kind of bubblegum flavor that you get from Inca Cola and other sodas like it, which is interesting given what it looks like. It's a little strong in my mouth, kind of as an aftertaste, almost like my breath has become kind of warmer and drier because of it. The aftertaste is maybe a little bitter. It has some hints of beer almost, but it's a little bit hoppy, maybe a little bit of citrus to it. This is an odd soda. I don't know that it's really for me. With that in mind, I'm going to have to give this a 6 out of 10. Thank you for joining me, though. I'm Derek. This has been Pop and Sodas, and we'll catch you next time.